It starts with the name of Allah, who is the most merciful and beneficent. Today we are going to start poem number two, and its theme is The Little Thing. This beautiful poem is written by Julia Carney. Here I want to tell you the meaning of little thing. Little things means tiny things. Little things means a small thing. Here I want to give you some examples of little things. Little drops of water, little deeds of kindness, little grains of sand. This is very beautiful, interesting and simple poem written by Julia Carney. This short poem shows the sensitive views of the poetry to the little things. The poetry tells us the importance of little things. She says that we shouldn't ignore tiny things. The poetry has observed different blessings of God. She convinces us by giving a few examples of the objects of the nature around us. Often little things in life indicate great changes. All the bodies are made up of little things. It means little things are playing vital role in our life. So we shouldn't ignore them and we must give importance to each and every object. Either it is big or small, because God doesn't create anything to play. Let's start introduction of poetry. This beautiful poem is written by Julia Khan. She was born on 6 April 1823 in Boston, U.S. She was an American educator, poet, author, and editor. Here I want to tell you the meaning of educator, poet, author, and editor. Educator means teacher, one who imparts knowledge, one who instructs. Poet means one who writes poems. Author means one who writes books or other literary works. Editor means one who prepares printed matter for publication, such as newspaper, books, etc. She educated at Lancaster Academy. She started to write poetry from very early age. Her first work of words published at the age of 40. She got fame in 1845 for her poem Little Things. It is a simple children's song to explain that even little things are very important. Her poems have quality of music. We can easily find the musical quality in her poem because she wrote her poems in rhyming words. Due to quality of music, her poems were published in a school textbook. She also wrote in prose, short sketches of real life, or essays upon temperance and other serious subjects. Here I want to tell you the meaning of prose. Prose means simple language. Prose means ordinary language. Short sketches of real life mean short description of real life. In 1849, she married Thomas T. Corney. She had nine children. She lost her five children, four of them in infancy. She died in Galesburg on the 1st November 1908 at the age of 85. Let's start this beautiful poem, The Little Thing. Stanza number one, little drops of water, little grains of sand, make the mighty ocean and the pleasant land. Here I want to tell you the meaning of difficult words. Grains means a small hard particle. Mighty means huge, powerful. Pleasant means agreeable, nice, pretty. In this stanza, Puiti highlights the importance of little things. She states that small things in life often bring great changes. The poetry supports this claim by telling that all mighty things are made up of tiny building blocks. She says that little drops of water make mighty ocean. She says that little drops of water separately have no importance, but when they are together, they make big and powerful ocean. Little grains of sun make a vast land. She says that little grains of sun separately have no importance, but when they are together, they make mighty desert. 
In short, little things have their own value. And these tiny things are the tools of making mighty and powerful things. Let's start stanza number 2. Little deeds of kindness, little words of love, make our world and Eden like the heaven above. Meaning of difficult words. Deeds means eight. Kindness means the quality of being kind. Eden means the garden of paradise. Heaven means paradise. In this stanza, the poet is emphasizing on the significance of little things by giving us the examples of little words of love and little deeds of kindness. Little deeds of kindness. Kindness is defined as the quality of being friendly, generous, and considerate. Affection, gentleness, warmth, concern, and care are associated with kindness. When we do something nice for someone, we cultivate trust and we feel good about ourselves for being a kind person. So we should be kind to others. Being kind can strengthen our relationship and sense of satisfaction. Mark Twain said, Kindness is a language which the deaf can hear and the blind can see. Poetry says, little words of love are also very important. They can change our entire life. We can win the hearts of people using sweet and lovely words. Our beloved Prophet Muhammad said, A man's beauty is in his tongue. Poetry says that little words are the source of happiness. They can take somebody out from dejection and disappointment. They can make happy the gloomy hearts. They can console the broken hearts. They can make cheerful the weeping person. Little words of love can change our mood and give us inspiration to live our life happy. It is said that sweet words have magical effect. Therefore, we should talk to others with love and respect. Poetry says that our little deeds of kindness and little words of love can make this world heaven. Good deeds can make us dear to even our enemies and thus make this world a happy place to live in. Therefore, we should love and respect our elders. We should be very kind to our youngsters. As a result, everyone will love us and there will be an atmosphere of love and peace everywhere and this world will turn into heaven. Theme of this poem the theme of this poem is that nothing in this world is unimportant. Even little things have importance which can't be ignored. They collectively make great things. All great things are the collection of little things. Thank you for listening my lecture. I hope you have understood my lecture. Allah Hafiz students.